Bob doesn't persevere slash believe, did God not give perseverance or faith? And if he didn't give those gifts, did God choose not to? So let's see. So this issue of perseverance. So if we're speaking about those who are, you know, one who is, uh, is a believer, one who's regenerate, and they do not persevere in faith. What do we say about that? So generally, if you look at the way that the Lutheran confessions speak about the gift of, it, it, gift of, of, or sorry, the definition of the elect, right? So the definition of the elect in its most precise sense, if you look at Article 11 of the Formula of Concord, the, um, the elect are narrowly defined specifically as those who will indeed persevere to the end, okay? So the elect are those who do persevere to the end. The elect is not just those who are regenerate or what we call temporary believers, those who are regenerate and fall away. So in that way, the Lutheran tradition in our confessions follows Augustine and would be in agreement with the Calvinist tradition that, that the elect in this most strict sense are those who are finally saved. But then you have the question of, well, what about those who are temporary believers? And, you know, if you read Augustine's treatise on perseverance, he seems to indicate that, at least at one point, and, and I, I've, I've read some different interpretations of, of Augustine on that point, but there are certainly statements in there that, that appear to say that God chose not to give the gift of perseverance to some. So that God chose to regenerate them, but did not elect to give them the gift of perseverance. And that would mean that God, I mean, you take this to its logical conclusion, I guess Augustine doesn't get into detail about this, but it seems to be what he's saying that God would, you know, remove his hand from somebody. Well, that seems cruel that God would regenerate somebody and then all of a sudden say, yeah, I'm taking my grace away. Um, so regardless of what Augustine thinks about that, that certainly is not where the Lutheran tradition would, would come in. Here is where we, we speak about the, the crux theologorum or the, the cross of the theologian. Um, there is this unanswerable question, which is why are some saved and not others? And we could say the same thing is true of the question of why do some persevere in the faith and others do not? What we can say scripturally is that those who do persevere, um, those, those who do persevere um, are, they persevere because God has granted them the gift of perseverance. We would say that they do persevere because God has um, preserved them in the faith by the work of the Holy Spirit. We wouldn't attribute that to their own works. You know, it's not like you persevere in the faith because you've done enough good works and, and you're good because of that. So that that is the case there. But then when we're talking about those who fall away, what we would say is they have fallen away because they have willfully chosen to engage in unrepentant sin, or they have willfully chosen to apostatize from the faith, to reject Christ actively. So we would we would attribute then their falling away or their rejection of the faith to their own will and not say that this was God's decree or God kind of taking away his grace. God always works through the means of grace of word and sacrament. Now, if you remove yourselves from those means of grace, that's where God works and that's where God has ch chosen to work. So certainly if you remove yourselves from those means, there is a higher likelihood of falling away from the faith. And scripture is clear about living a life of repentance. And if you give into um, what we would call moral sin, then, and just living in sin without repentance, yeah, you, you can fall away. Those scriptural warnings are very prominent and, and very real. So the, the answer that I'm giving to that question does not resolve all the entire dilemma, but it answers it insofar as scripture does. And I recognize that that is not going to, that, that is not going to be enough for a lot of people who want further answers. Um, but this is an area where we allow a lot of mystery and, and we stop ourselves from answering the question beyond that.